Hi everyone, it's Tuesday and this is Reverend Sarah Grady from St. Paul's United Church in Paris, Ontario. I'm checking in with this week's engagement questions. This past Sunday, we examined the chapter in our book, We Make the Road by Walking, uh, that's called Being Human. And we looked at some passages, once again, from the book of Genesis, the second creation story and uh, talked a bit about what it means to be an image bearer of God and what a responsibility that is. And it is a huge responsibility. We are all image bearers of God and the things that we say, the things that we do in this world matter and how we present ourselves and how we are in relationship with one another matters. And so we were challenged this week by the notion of being human, because to be human is to err and to err is, be, to, is to be human, uh, the philosophy has said. And uh, we know that being human is not always easy. Being a perfect self and being our most generous and creative self is not always easy. Brian McLaren says that we can use our intelligence to be both creative and generous or destructive and selfish. And I think in all of our lives, we've probably been a bit of both at times. And um, it's something that gives us pause to reflect on, especially right now as we experience this very strange time in our world where there is lots of anxiety and fear. It's a pretty good time to practice our humanity and um, think about how we are image bearers of God out in the world um, and in our relationship with one another, whether it's a stranger that we've never met before or um, our best friend or our spouse or children, parents, all these things are very important for us to think about how we are image bearers of God um, to one another. And one of the questions it asks is, who has been somebody who bears the image of God for you? And uh, what was that special moment? And uh, there's been lots of special moments, but somebody who came to mind for me this week is um, my nine-year-old roommate, nine, soon to be 10, uh, Marshall. And he has been, um, his, uh, his parents adopted him when he was four. And so I've been watching him grow and learn and become this amazing person over the last six years. And uh, I would say I see the image of God in him in so many moments because he is one of the most generous and giving and loving people I can possibly imagine. He just wants people to be happy. He is a peacemaker. He doesn't like anybody fighting. He always wants everything to be fair. He wants to make sure everyone's included. Um, you know, when he sees the farmhands out in the field, if it's a hot day and he thinks that they might be feeling a little bit uncomfortable, he runs to grab a box of popsicles and take it out to them. Or if we're going through the Tim Hortons drive through or something, he's get some Timbits for all the farmhands. They must be hungry. They're working really hard today. He also, of course, has moments where he can be destructive and selfish, but can't we all? <laughs> Nobody's perfect 100% of the time. And, uh, it's, it's easy to sometimes stray into the destructive and selfish territory if we stop reminding ourselves and thinking about ourselves as image bearers of God and how we want to be in relationship with one another. It's a big thing to think about, but I think the second question that I want to offer for you to, to think about, this one is for the kids, uh, the engagement question, but I think it's a pretty good one for the adults too. So I'm going to offer this to you. Um, this would be a great discussion to have around the dinner table at your household for, for all ages, actually. So this one is not just for the kids, it's for everybody. Think about your hands. What is something kind and creative you can do with your hands? What is something mean and harmful you can do with your hands? And how can the same hands do both kind and mean things? When I see this as for the kids, it's a pretty deep question for them, but I always like to uh, engage in these kind of questions with all ages because I think it's pretty important for us to remember all of our lives, how our bodies can harm or do good, how our words can harm or do good, how the things that we um, think aren't going to affect anybody else can sometimes be the thing that devastates somebody else. So um, we're always called to share that responsibility. Brian McLaren says that being an image bearer of God is a wonderful and amazing thing. It's also a thing that comes with incredible responsibility. We can't just be thinking of ourselves all the time. There are, of course, moments where we certainly need to think of ourselves, but we need to also take a lot of our time thinking about others and how we and others can be in right relationship with one another. 
All right, I think I've offered you enough challenges for this week. Um, so I want you to think about those engagement questions. Think about somebody who's been an image bearer of God in your life. And also have the discussion about the hands. What are the creative and amazing and good things you can do with your hands? And what are the hurtful or harmful things that you can do with your hands? And how can these hands be both? big questions. And if all of that seems like too much, just like last week, there is an opportunity for you to just sit and take a moment to center yourself and then um, have a meditation and allow a silent prayer to arise within you. I encourage you to perhaps find some gratitude for something that's happened this week in your life for a conversation with a loved one um, or even a stranger, perhaps um, gratitude for something you read or saw something that you were able to get out and do in God's creation this week, or perhaps the prayer that needs to arise in you is a lament and you need to find a place to be able to grieve for something that you feel as though you've lost or um, a relationship that is broken, whatever that may look for you, look like for you this week. Please continue to reach out and let me know how, uh, how you're doing with these questions and let us continue to make this road by walking together and I hope that folks have also had an opportunity to see the prayer that I posted this morning for all of those who are heading back to school whether you're a teacher a student a parent um, an, an EA a bus driver um, a crossing guard an office administrator our prayers go with you this day as we continue to navigate and work together to be safe uh, and for our children to thrive and grow in those educational opportunities that are being presented in uh, strange and unusual ways but the best that we can do at this time so may god go with you this day and may you be well on the journey see you soon friends